please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning and welcome to the Daily Announcements. My name is Nick. And I'm the big dog, Dallas. Did you enjoy your day off, Dallas? Yes, I did. I, I, played, video, I played Call of Duty all day yesterday, so yeah. <laughs> I was stuck doing homework on my day off. Anyways, now to weather with Mo. Morning all. Hope you had a wonderful midweek half weekend. Mine was mediocre at best. As for now, we're sitting at a comparatively toasty 31 with wind chill at 22. Clouds are covering the sky and they will for the majority of the day, only beginning to clear around nine. We'll hit high of 36 later, but the wind chill most likely will not break 30 degrees. Overall, just a regular November day, unlike Sunday. The NASCAR Cup Series season finale is at 3 p.m. on NBC. Watch it. Nicholas? Thanks, Mo. For lunch today, we'll be having the famous Thanksgiving meal in lines one, two, three, and, well, you guessed it, line four. And then line five will be closed. A happy birthday goes out today to Michael Benfield and David Sparks. Now to Edgar with sports. Thanks, Dallas. Results from Thursday night. The girls defeated Twin Lakes 62-60. Riley Cyber had 24 points with 12 rebounds. Emily Michael had 23 points. And Kimmy Kingma finished the night with 8 points and 18 rebounds. Great effort by en and energy by every player that touched the floor last night. The next game is Saturday at McCutcheon versus Lafayette Central Catholic. Be there at 4. Also, the girls' swimming and diving team fell to McCutcheon 115-68. Event winners were Blaise Lee with in the 1-meter diving Patience Dean in the 500-yard freestyle. That's it for sports. Hope everyone enjoys their weekend. Now over to Nick. Thanks, Edgar. We only have one short announcement for today regarding DECA. This year, during first trimester, sports marketing students competed in a fantasy football league, which led to the ultimate game, the Hot Dog Football League Super Bowl. Representing the Frankfurt Division was Jose Sandoval, who played the Hot Dog Division winner, Eric Garcia. Jose Sandoval ended up winning the 2018 Sports Marketing Hot Dog Football League Super Bowl. Congratulations, Jose. Say, Dallas, do you have anywhere that you would like to be right now, besides sure. school? Sure, there are a lot of places that I'd like to be right now. So what, what did you have in mind? Maybe like Germany, Switzerland, or even Panama? Yeah, I've always liked traveling. Well, then make sure to check out this video about the Travel Club. Hello, my name is Nick Kinder and this is Ms. Menendez and today we will be talking about the Travel Club. So what exactly is the Travel Club and then who can join and how do they join? Great question. So it's called the FFHD because it's called the Fearless Flying Frankfurt Hot Dogs because we are adventurous. Um, anyone can join, literally anyone. Um, it's, not, it's not limited to a certain grade or anything, so anyone can join. Uh, you just have to talk to me or Mrs. Woodard and we'd kind of tell you about our trips, how much it is, what you need to do to sign up. Um, it's pretty simple and we're pretty easygoing people. So, so obviously you're traveling a lot. <laughs> Kind of the whole point of the club. Yeah. So what uh, are your next kind of like your traveling plans coming up? Awesome. So after Co we went to Costa Rica in March, um, our future plans are here in June, we're going to Panama. I spearhead that trip. And then Mrs. Woodard is taking students to Germany and Switzerland next June, which hopefully I'll get to go to. All right. And then obviously it costs a lot to go to these things. Uh, not only for the students, but also for the school. So how much does it cost for the students to go? And also, are there financial opportunities that students get involved in in order to cut the cost? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, fortunately, the tour group that we go through makes it pretty cheap. Like, if you, go, if you were to go by yourself, it'd be kind of more expensive. Uh, so they drop the cost a lot. Um, but yeah, of course, they're expensive, especially if we go abroad. The cost varies from trip to trip. So Panama, Central America is cheaper than Europe because we have to go a lot farther. Um, but the financial opportunities that we have, we try to have as many fundraisers as possible. So the last two years, we've had this fundraiser where we uh, sell butter braids and cheesecakes. And that's been pretty successful for those who do, do it. Always looking for new opportunities to make sure anyone can go, regardless of how much money they might have. All right, well, if you want to join Travel Club, make sure to talk to Ms. Menendez over here, and that'll wrap it up here. So now back to the studio. Thanks to our on-site crew and Ms. Menendez for all the information. That's all for the daily announcements. Please like and subscribe, 
and stay tuned for more news and and Monday. This has been the Big Dog Dallas and I'm Nick Kinder. See you Monday, dogs. <laughs>